hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about how to create this kind of timeline tile you must have seen in couple of apps like flipkart amazon if you will go to order history page you will see this kind of timeline tiles so without any delay let's get started so for this i have used one package which is timeline tile and i will put the code and the package link in the description box you can check that so now let's jump into the code so this is my home page and this is my main function i am calling this home screen from my main function and this is my home screen basically home page so first of all this is my stateful widget and this is scaffold and i have taken background color app bar center title true and the background for the app bar now let's move forward so body i am using padding edge inserts only left and right i am using 30 and child will be list view children and inside this list view i'm using timeline tile ui and before coding inside this timeline tile ui let's move forward towards this timeline tile ui so this is i have made another class to get rid of hassle and i have created another class timeline tile ui it is stateless kind of widget and declared three variables is for first is last is past and event child so let's move forward so first of all i'm using size box of 200 and then child will be timeline tile it is coming from the package that we have installed is first will be this value is first is last will be is last the value which which we will pass from previous screen if it is is first will be true then that particular tile will be in the first position if is last value will be true then that particular tile will be in the last position so border line this is the border line if is past is true then this is the color and if is past is false then there is some light color which is this one this is for border let's move forward for indicator style again if let me give some width this is the width of 40 you can increase or decrease that according to your requirement color would be if is past true then something like darker color and if it is is past false then light color again icon style you can also set icon style icon data i'm using check circle and here if is past is true then i'm using green color this is the green color and if it is not true then i'm using the same color which is the indicator style color yes this one i'm using so that my tick is not appear here so end child will be event path so for this i have also created another class for hassle free coding so let's move forward toward this event path again it is taking is past value true or false boolean kind and again child widget so let's move forward inside container it is also a stateless widget 
let's move forward inside container i'm using decoration and this is the main design this one for this particular event path so if is past is true then color will be something darker and if it is not true then color will be light border radius i'm providing 10 and for padding i'm taking 25 from all sides margin i'm taking 20 from all sides and child which is coming from previous screen so let me put the required parameter inside this so first of all is past will be is past and child will, will be this event child with these two classes we are done now let's move forward towards this home page so there are requirements what are they these are three boolean variables is first is last is past and this child so this will be the child whatever we will pass it will be visible here so let me move forward is first first of all i want to show this particular tile in the beginning so is first will be true and is last will be false is past will be true because we have passed from this path that is why it is showing tick so it will be true and again for the child i'm using event child and i'm using column because here i'm showing icon and title and then this text so everything will be inside column then there is row with this icon and this text with bold style let's move forward main axis alignment would be space evenly and inside children i'm using row and inside row i'm using icon icon will be book online type icon color be white and there is little bit of space size box i have taken of 15 and the text text will be order placed and let me provide some style because i want to show it in bold manner so font size i'm taking 18 font weight obviously bold and color would be white okay so till now let me run this there is only one child tile basically yes and let me move forward so this is my row with icon and the title let me add the description so this is my description let me run this uh, let me give some color to it white now it is looking good so let me add some more tile what i will do i will just copy paste this and will change the value so this one is another one let me paste once again four times yes so what changes i did here this one is order placed this one is order is packed so and i have changed here icon also and this title text and this text so these three things i have changed so now let me run this and one more thing for this let me shrink this
all of them yes so this tile is in the beginning that is why i'm using is first true and it is pass that is why i'm using pass true and last is false again the second one is first no it is not the first one so i'm using false here is last no it is not the last i'm using false here is passed yes it is passed i'm using true here so again for the third one everything will be false like is first no it is not first last will be false and is passed is false that is why this tick is not appearing here so the event is not passed now so and this one is first is first is false is last is true and is passed is again false this tile i'm showing in the last position that is why i'm using is last is true what i will do i will make it third one is passed true let me see what happens now it is ticked so the event has passed and order is dispatched from our warehouse warehouse and yet to be delivered so that's it in this video and if you find this video helpful please do subscribe and like the video and hope to see you next time in a next video bye for now